Hey guys, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on for more great content. What helped you go pro? What was that moment, that, like, that like one specific moment that you went from like going from an amateur to semi-pro or even to pro? Was it like something you did in your practice routine or support from your parents or maybe you finished school or went to an event? There's so many different aspects it could be, but you know, what, what was it for you? I don't know. I, honestly, it's so long <laughs> since uh, I started playing C CS um, when I was like eight or something like that. Um, when I was 12, I was at my first LAN event with some friends and we actually came at, uh, we, we lost and came out as the fourth place with a lot of pro mm -hmm. teams attending and we were like 12, 14 year old <laughs> bunch of uh, crazy kids and... Um, in, in Source I'm assuming, right? Yeah, in Source, yeah, and, and, and some old dude pulled me away from my PC and checked if I had cheats on it and stuff like that. So I think <laughs> I think that was when I, I was put on the map a little bit, but I was still just a, a young boy. Um, like, honestly, I don't know. I think I was always really talented in CS and Source especially. I didn't think it was worth it to go full time or all in when I was in school uh, back then and played a lot of badminton and I think that, uh, that the first turning point was probably getting the first salary in CSGO and Copenhagen Wolves and um, having some issues with the knee and getting a little bit tired of badminton as well since I was forced to be playing it since I was like two or three years old so um, that was probably the biggest turning point was like getting the salary and, and uh, the school I was on uh, recognized esports for it to be okay to have esports instead of a regular sport. It was like a sports uh, high school. Yeah. Uh, that changed the most for me. Uh, and at that point, the whole journey going from Dignitas to TSM when I was still in high school, finishing high school uh, while traveling so much. Uh, yeah sharing that journey with Sip and everything and, and then going into Astralis. Like those those years were definitely the most stressful but also the most defining like turning points. Uh, going into Astralis, we picked up Sonic. Sonic mm -hmm. told me, you know what, you're pretty good at, at rifling but why not try being the main opera? I think that was a big turning point for me as well. Like that time, in the start of Astralis, leading up to the first major win, learning to deal with emotions on a different level uh, with pressure and talking to psychologists about that because we we choked a lot and and yeah then winning the first yeah. major like leading up to that there was a lot of small moments of meeting people that were defining for me um yeah. growing as an individual and, and in general just like there was not a chance I got on one team or something like that. I feel like I got so many chances and I quit playing CS a lot of times because it was just not the right moment for me to commit. Um, even in, in CSGO, uh, um, it happened as well. So, so yeah, I mean, like, I, I think um, it was definitely all other things than Counter-Strike related um, that, that had that turned around like the, the path of my yeah. career. And, and yeah, here we are today. Uh, Magis joining Astralis was also like a turning point. You've got to be honest, like um, the era we had together was, was lovely, but if I had to pick one, it is Sonic telling me becoming like try to op. You're pretty good at that, that as well. That, that's huge. And then obviously you become one of the world's best orpers and now everyone's watching your demos, like how do I op like device? Yeah. Um, do, you, do you think then, like, if, if Zonic didn't say that to you, like, how different would your career look today and uh, your status within CSGO? How do you know? Do you think it would look significantly different? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, uh, I don't know what the solution would have been at that point as well, right? But um, it definitely uh, put us in the right direction of, of how we wanted to play as a team and, and um, me as an individual, I think. I was still at points in my career in 2015 and uh, being regarded as the best player um, with Olaf and, and stuff like that, right? Being a rifler. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, honestly, growing into the competitive era we are today, it's much easier dropping off as a rifler rather than an orbit because, um, yeah, it's just such a tough environment to be in and you have to be crisp all the time. Same with orbiting though, but 
yeah, I don't know how my career would have looked like. Like it's a complete guess. Um, hopefully the same and just Dupree being the upper, me being the entry frag, something like that, maybe. Well, on that note, um, yeah, thank you very much for the, the insight. Uh, as always, a pleasure to speak to you. And guys watching, thank you very much for watching uh, and give the video a like. Thank you very much. Thank you.